Can you be better now? All right. All right, Heavenly Father. First, I want to thank you for allowing us the time that we spent with our sister, mother, daughter, and friend, Tony Cochran. We ask for continued blessings and healing to her family and friends throughout this difficult time. And we also ask that you bless all of us here tonight with your grace and your love. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody say, Amen. Thank you. Everybody enjoy yourself today. You can talk now. You don't have to listen to me. I'm going to bring my friend Jackie up here. This is Jackie Stephen Rogers. She's the one that organized all this. I'm a promoter. I help her. I usually do more now. So it's Jackie's deal, not mine. Please do not confuse that with Jackie. Jackie set up the Facebook page. Uh, Connie's parents are here. Her son Joey is here. I met him. He's around somewhere. Uh, Nick is in Europe somewhere. There they are. There's Carl and stuff. Carl, you want to come up and say something about your sister? Do you want to come up and say something about your sister or do you want to wait? We got all night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Connie's sister, Carla, if you don't know Carla. Come on up here, I want you to feedback. Like my sister was not very good at public speaking. <laughs> she was for, um, you know, about karaoke, singing, getting her rock on. Oh, how do you do it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm not a rocker. She was, but um, I, I really don't know what to say without crying. <laughs> I can say. I wrote it down. Connie never felt a need to be centered attention. 
Instead, she enjoyed just being in the presence and enjoying whatever Carla was doing. In fact, she was this way with everybody she loved and the people that were important to her. She was a kind of friend and family member that would come into any room and lend it, settling back, observing, and quietly participating in whatever was happening, making sure that the people she loved were getting the attention and the limelight, always reinforcing and supporting their goals and dreams. Growing up, that was Carla, and I have no doubt in her adult life this would keep her poised. Go Hawks! Yeah. <laughs> So the other thing that uh, uh, Jackie put over here are some sign up. Give me one second. Put some. I'm sorry. There's some sign up envelopes. If you want to leave a note for the family, uh, and you don't have balls enough to get up on stage, which is fine. Um, you can come over here and grab an envelope and put it in a little box, and, and we'll get your condolences. Hello, I'm Paula, and I'm out. I've heard it's trying to second cousin in Harry's daughter. We grew up here with lots of, lots of trips out in the wilderness, camping and riding motorcycles. And uh, I hadn't seen Bonnie for several years, several years, and came across her one day when she was working at the love camp. She hadn't seen me for years, but right out of the beach, she said, hey, I know you, you're my cousin Paul. She was she enjoyed being with her. She did so free and so happily. It was great. And Joe and Myrna, I was Joe and Myrna and I have spent yes. lots of time together. Good times together, you know, just get to know I didn't even know I was dating to Myrna until she told me I thought I was dating to Joe and I I love Connie and Bob and Hart. I miss her dearly. I'm so sorry that this happened. And my friends are correct for her every day. introduced me to uh, Connie after a Sammy Hagar concert at the fair and there was two things we had in common one I'm not going to mention but the other one was alcohol and Connie and I had a hell of a time we went up to Scotty's Grub and Pub and we partied and we listened to some more Sammy Hagar and uh, Connie and I clicked exactly we always thought that we were born a decade too early because we always liked the older music, the Deep Purple, the Jimi Hendrix, you know, the Black Sabbath, and stuff like that, the back of the old days. Still like the new stuff, but we were just from different, different worlds with the same people. Um, I had a chance to sit with Carla and Myrna up at the BLT a couple weeks ago. Funny, we were at uh, Alex, uh, most people know Eddie Mendoza and Alan Ari Moore. Their son died of cancer just a couple weeks ago. And we were up at the benefit, and up comes Connie, here she comes. And Connie was good for that. Connie spent a lot of time and a lot of her money at benefits and giving people things that she didn't have. She would give you her last dollar if you, if you needed it. That's just the way she was. You guys, some of you don't know Connie, you know Connie very long. We talked on Facebook more than we talked in person. Well, I'm going to be at your event, Joe. She never showed up. And that's okay, because she was going home drunk, and that's okay. As long as she made it home, I didn't really care. Uh, Connie's jacket is up here. Her leather jacket is sitting up here. If you want to talk to her, you want to say something to her, um, I believe in life after death. Um, if you go home and say something to Connie, she'll hear you. She'll hear you through prayer, everything. Like I said, if you don't believe in God, that's fine. Uh, but Connie's up in heaven. She's flying around. She's probably here right now trying to bug through the bar, trying to get a cocktail, but they won't give her one. That's the way it works up in heaven. 
Anyway, again, there's some cards up here, these pictures. The posters are on the pool table back there. If you don't get one, leave your email, and I will email, I will, we'll get, I'll get a hold of you through email. I will email you one of those to the closest print shop there is. Office Depot, Office Max, Kinkles, whatever. So you can get one of those as well. No problem with that. Again, Jackie put all this together. Give your hands together for my friend Jackie Rogers. Do you want to say something about Connie? Yes, you do. Okay. There were some videos, if you guys know, if you've been on the Facebook, that's just kind of how we all communicate sometimes when we don't see each other. That's just our thing. Connie was a big Facebook junkie. She, I'm sure she's still on the Facebook page. I hope somebody continues that page. If you don't, let me know. I'll continue it. Send me the bill. I'll pay for it. After today, when you take some pictures of your friends, if you are on that, that event page, Please load the pictures on there. Jackie and I are administrators of the Facebook event page, or you can email them to us. We will make sure they go onto her page. Uh, I'm not sure who is a member or who is an administrator of her Facebook page, but we will make sure that those get to where they're supposed to be. Um, her son is in... Joey's here. Is Joey in here? Joey, are you in here? He's hiding me. You don't go walk around with his microphone. It's one of those. Joe, do you want to say something about your mom? You sure? Okay. This is this is uh, Connie's son, Joe. I'm calling him Joey because that's a cool name. It's my name too. Just nobody calls me that. Uh, I'd like to thank Marcelo Devera here. He's in a band called Unloaded. This is their jam, mate. It always seems like me and Howard and Marcelo come together for these memorials. Amazing bands. So I'm going to shut up. Howard's going to put some music on. We're going to get a little sound check here. But uh, to the stage next is Sub Vinyl Jukebox.